Hello, I'm Matt, and welcome to Badger Workshop. This is another Shepherd's Hut update. Shepherd's Huts traditionally have stable doors. I got this one online. I certainly wouldn't say the door was cheap, but the construction wasn't great. So I think next time I'd have a go at making one myself. I fitted a mortise lock to the door. So cool because you have to cut a mortise for it to fit into. I marked a depth stop on the drill bit and then drilled a series of holes. I could then square up the corners and tied it up with a chisel. And then it slips in place. It has a little face plate that covers it. So I need to draw around this and then remove the material for that to fit into. Two holes need to be drilled. One for the keyhole and the other for the bar for the door handle. With them done, just a little test to make sure it works. A normal door, you probably only have to worry about fitting two hinges, but as this is in two halves, I've got to put four on. I found these black hinges on eBay, as I'm trying to go for black hardware for everything on the door and the windows. I mounted the hinges, but they're going to have to come off again for it to be painted. But when they go back on, the holes will obviously already be there. They make it a lot quicker and easier. After taking all the hardware off again, I gave it a coat of undercoat. Then it got a couple of coats of gloss, the same colour as the windows. After days of painting and laying everything in dry, I can reinstall all the hardware. I've got black wrought iron handles for this, so the bar goes through the hole, then the handle can go on. I marked where the holes need to go with a bradle, and then it gets screwed in place. I like these handles as they also incorporate the keyhole, which I think just gives a nice smart finish. And that's the door all done, ready for hanging. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more videos.